Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading update. Today's Tuesday, September 22nd. So a pretty, pretty tough day trading. In fact, I would say if you could make money this morning day trading with our, with our methodology, uh, then you're, you're probably well on your way to doing pretty good. I, it was tough for me anyway. I ended up green on the day plus $198 plus 198. Uh, but it was, it was tough. Uh, I think in fact, if I would be if I was trading this afternoon, I probably would have made some. But I just I prefer not to trade that long. I was done by about twelve thirty, <clears throat> and that's kind of my limit. So here's what uh, let's break it down. So AMD, uh, small loser. Amazon, big winner, over fourteen hundred bucks. So I'll, I'll show you that. Uh, Boeing, small loser. Beyond was my biggest loser, minus six forty. Uh, Facebook, nice winner, three seventy. Lulu, a loser. Microsoft, a small loser. Roku, a small winner. Tesla, uh, uh, a loser, minus 349. So Tesla continues to have my number the last couple of weeks. Uh, and then a loser in Zoom. So let's go through these and I'll talk about each one, starting with AMD. So AMD had this big flush down to start the day. Uh, I wanted to get uh, short on a runner here. I, I didn't do it because it was still a bit, little bit early for me in the day. It ended up pushing lower, pushing lower again. That would have been a nice winner, but I never did it. I waited for it to come all the way back up to this pivot, and I tried to I tried to get short here, and it just kind of flushed me out. So I took a small loss in AMD, uh, Amazon, my biggest winner. So Amazon was looking strong all day. It opened up above the high of yesterday. It was just staying strong, uh, you know, pushing, hitting new highs. Uh, came down, and then when it bounced here, it started to consolidate. This is where I got in, and I caught a little piece of this. And then it still kept running. I missed a bunch of this, and then it's consolidated here. And I caught a little piece of this right before I right before I ended my day. So great winner, fourteen sixty five. And and I mean with that, I'm literally doing one contract. Those are those are big contracts. So just staying super small, but still was able to book over fourteen hundred bucks. Uh, Boeing. So Boeing was a little disappointing. I had a a, a downside runner here in Boeing. Uh, you know, it started off super strong and then just collapsed down and went negative on the day. So we were looking for an entry to get short. And I think it was right here. We ended up getting short in the room, came down. I think I took a little off there, got back in. And then the market started to get strong and Boeing was kind of pushing up, looking like it wanted to go positive on the day, actually right here. And so I ended up just bailing on that and taking a small loss of 50 bucks on that trade and it never really flushed lower, so it was a you know decent decent exit. Uh, Beyond my biggest loser, so this was a this one was a little bit frustrating. So I had a big push out of the gate. Beyond was up big, started to consolidate above this pivot. Just a beautiful setup for an upside runner, and I got flushed out. And so I just I went ahead and bailed on that. Took a took a decent sized loser on that. Facebook, let's go to Facebook. So Facebook was just kind of chopping around, staying positive. Uh, but not, you know, kind of weak price action. And then all of a sudden, boom, it exploded higher. I didn't catch any of that, but when it pulled back, I got in and I caught this entire move here. I was up a lot more, uh, but I was looking for one more push higher. I got out of some, but then as it pulled back, I tried to get in for some more, looking for another continuation, and it just can continue to fall. So I still booked 370 on the trade, but I was up over 1,000 on that one. Uh, Lulu, this one was frustrating too. Uh, Lulu was strong on the day and it pushed up above this pivot line, started to consolidate. Uh, we took this one in the room and we were looking for a continuation to the upside. And then this thing just started to flush lower and I got out down here and then it started to climb back up and I was going to get back in on this little consolidation and I just, I never got filled and it took off without me. So never was able to recoup that loss. So it took a little loss in Lulu. Microsoft. Uh, let's see, what did I do in Microsoft? Okay, so I had um, uh, one was a mighty 90 trade uh, that I took a little loss in, and then a runner I took a, a, a little bit of a, I got in right here after it bounced off uh, break even for the day, started to consolidate a little bit, and so I tried to catch a little bit there, just a tiny, uh, tiny one, but overall a, a small loss in Microsoft. Roku. Uh, had a big push early this morning and I was looking to do a mighty 90 kind of a reversal. It never gave us any downside, real downside action. So I just cut my losses on that. Took a, took a decent size loss on there cause I had, I had decent size on, 
uh, started to consolidate and look like a good potential upside runner. So this one was this one was pretty painful to watch. So I, I got in, got out here, got back in some, and then it just kind of grinded sideways, flushed down a little bit, got in some more, and then it finally made a little bit of a pop, but just grinded sideways. And so I got out about right here, right at about 1230, 1235. Uh, ended up booking a winner overall of $70, but that was a painful one. I got back all the loss from the initial trade, and a little bit more, but uh, that was a, that was a pretty excruciating one to watch. Tesla, uh, Tesla was weak uh, all day. Opened up below, um, you know, in negative territory, and just couldn't couldn't push higher. And so when it came down here under this pivot, I took a little bit of a short position, and it just it ripped higher. And so I went ahead and bailed on that. Took a loss on that one, and then Zoom. Uh, let's go to Zoom Zoom. Zoom had this big push higher. It looked like it was going. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed. I missed all of this first run right here. It started to consolidate above this pivot, and I was looking for one more extension higher, but it flushed down and and just kind of flushed me out. So I took a loss. Obviously, had I held, I would have been okay. But we can't trade like that in hindsight. So I took a little loss in Zoom. Overall, like I said, plus 198. So I can't complain. Uh, like I said, had I, it's about. 130 now had I kind of stayed in the market and seen the strength I could have caught a pretty decent runner in the Nasdaq or one of these indices and, and a couple other stocks like Lululemon but I just I had to I had to get away from the screens and so uh, that is what it is plus 198 on the day hope everybody has a good day let me know if you have any questions talk to you soon